Hey YouTube, this video is going to talk about stuck caliper bolts um, and how to get them off. Um, when you're taking out caliper bolts, ones that are stuck in particular, um, the first thing you want to do is when you take the wheel off and you, you realize they're stuck, um, you want to turn it to an angle as much as possible so we can get the best angle at getting a wrench in here. And then we're gonna put an extension on that wrench. Another thing that you can do is spray these, spray these down with a penetrant, which I already did. I know a lot of people don't like to do that, but I do it and then I just clean it up real good when I'm done. See, this is all soaked with penetrating oil. Um, a lot of people don't like to do that. So that's the first thing you do is soak it down in penetrating oil and then I've got it turned so I can get a good angle to get a wrench in there. This one's 21, uh, a 21 millimeter. Um, you want to put that on a breaker bar. If these things are really stuck, you're going to need a breaker bar at a minimum. I got the breaker bar. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an extension on it too. Just a good old lead pipe. See that? And then we're going to get some more leverage. The, first, the, the more length is the more power you're going to get out of that. Luckily, yeah, I got this one to loosen really easy with that extension on there. Uh, it came loose already. Um, so that one was easy enough. I've seen these, they get stuck a lot worse than that. Um, but that was enough. See that? Yep, that's loose. Um, if it goes further than that, um, there, there's a few more things you can do. Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to turn on that so hard, you don't want to strip those bolts. Um, that's kind of something you got to gauge out by how much pressure you're putting on. Um, be careful. Try not to strip or break those bolts. If you do, it's not the end of the world, but it's gonna be a hassle. Um, so if that e extension doesn't work, the next trick, you've probably seen this trick, other people do it. They put a scissor jack down here and then they put the wrench on and you jack. So the jack is coming up and it turns the wrench. That way is very effective. It's gonna work if you can get the right angle on it. And also be careful doing that. Um, if you're doing that, wear safety glasses at a minimum and, and watch, your, watch your teeth in case that wrench goes flying or that wrench breaks uh, and that piece goes flying and you get hit in the face, it's not gonna be good. It's gonna hurt like heck. Um, so wear safety glasses at a minimum. That's another trick. If that one doesn't work, um, Your next bet is to get the torch out, get an acetylene torch. Um, a propane torch is probably not gonna work. It's not gonna get hot enough. Uh, I would suggest using an acetylene torch if you have one. That's my uh, go-to, that's my last resort, is getting the torch out. That should work. <laughs> if that doesn't work, then that thing is really <laughs> in there. And you're probably gonna have to drill it out somehow. Um, Acetylene torch should do it. Um, but what is that? I think that's four different ways. Um, if you, I would try those in, the, in that succession too. I would try uh, spraying it with the penetrant oil. I know a lot of people are, are, are saying, no, don't do that. I do it, it works. Um, just make sure to clean it up real good afterwards. I use that PB blaster. I know everyone's got their favorite spray that they swear by. This one is the one I recommend the most. Um, I've, a lot of times on stuck bolts, I just spray it down with this. <coughs> you come back a little bit later and it's, that thing will turn loose right away. Um, so you try that, you, you spray it down, you turn it, you wanna get that angle on it with the wrench, you get the wrench in there, put your extension on your breaker bar. Um, that thing should come loose. 
If it doesn't, try that wrench or the floor jack. jack turn the wrench up. That'll work. Um, and then there's the acetylene torch. If you happen to break the bolt, the next thing you want to do there is I got this nut remover set. You want to get one of these. You can get them. They're fairly inexpensive. You want to do this ahead of time. You don't want to be stuck waiting on the mail. See that? Those grooves in there? Those are splines, they call them. They bite right into the bolts. Even if that bolt is stripped, they'll bite right into it and turn it. Um, so these are very effective too. But you want to have some on hand before you get this far. Um, and then also that, uh, that acetylene torch, that should be the, that should do the trick. If nothing else is working, that should get you out of it. Um, that's all I got. I think those should get 99% of the bolts out there. Um, anything else, leave it in the comment section. Okay, thanks. Bye.